Hey guys, it's Chris from CAC Knives, and uh, I know I took a little break, but I'm back, and uh, I'm ready to continue showing off my knife collection, as well as new acquisitions that I get. Um, today we got a real treat for you. This is a carved EDC knife. If you don't know what carved is, it is a company out of Indiana. Um, they import a lot of their parts but you know they make phone cases and wallets and some different kinds of jewelry um and for a little while now they've been making knives and um i was looking at their knives you know i wanted to try out their stuff and they had this combo kit that kind of all matched with a bracelet a wallet and the knife now the kits are pretty cheap they uh they were about 130 bucks and you know if you want me to do a review on these i will um they're okay you know the wallet it it's kind of hard to get the cards out i don't know if it's just you know me but i have other slim wallets that i've used um and it was much easier getting the cards out of it. I think it's just the fact that it's top. I think they should have designed it to where they could kind of come out the side like the other ones that I've seen, like Ridge and other brands. However, since it is a carved, it is unique just to me, and it does look very cool. And I do use it sometimes still, just because, you know, it's pretty nice. But if you'd like me to do a review on that, I will, as well as the uh, bracelet here, the bracelet I do wear sometimes. It's pretty cool you know those are available for individual purchase on their website but they can also come with a kit um, where you get the wallet the bracelet and the knife to match now they don't just have blue they got you know a bunch of collars and a bunch of different combinations and a bunch of different wood and resin combinations here which makes each knife unique to itself and um you know, won't get into that, so that in a way that means you're kind of getting a semi-custom knife here. Like I said, the pieces of the knife, um, some of it's imported, but it's designed and assembled by a U.S. company in Indiana, which is kind of cool. Um, to get some specs on the knife, it is a about three inch blade. Um, seven and a quarter inches overall i'd say so you know kind of standard maybe even a little on the small side for edc knives um it has a 440c blade which considering they're selling the stainless damascus for about 120 dollars is a pretty high price tag for 440c however I think you're not really paying for the blade. I mean, 440C knives that aren't stainless Damascus, you can get, you know, you can get a Gonzo on uh, on Amazon right now for about 25 or 30 bucks. And that's even with inflation happening. You can still get that 440C blade or a D2 blade for around 35 to 40 bucks bucks you know 25 to 30 it kind of it kind of depends on the brand and the knife and the size and all that but you can get a pretty good knife for with 440c for about 30 bucks on average but this knife does have some things going for it that make it a little better now it is stainless damascus um if you want to jump some price up there you can i don't really know um if that makes this a true Damascus, I'll try to show. You can kind of see the differences in steel there towards the very back. Yeah, we're kind of seeing the lines there. Kind of like how Spyderco's um, Damascus from Japan is. However, that's VG10, and that is pure, real Damascus um, sandwiched, you know, over top of the VG10 right down the middle which gives it some protection, makes it look cool, and then gives you the edge retention of the VG10. As far as I know, I mean, it was kind of hard to find some information, but as far as I know, this is just straight 440C stainless Damascus. Now, I don't know if that means this is just kind of etched on here. I mean, 
it definitely it this one can go either way usually i can tell um but considering i can't feel it i mean that doesn't always necessarily mean anything but you can see it's kind of got the spider co thing going on on the bottom too um you can see it better on this side see how it's got the damascus it stops when it gets close to the blade so i'm thinking that damascus is real um it's just really 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 stainless um to the point where you can barely feel it and uh, it's so light in some places that you can barely even tell that it's there however it still helps the knife pop and for 20 bucks you know for the added rush resistance i would recommend putting it on there plus it makes your knife look cooler unless you're a you know damascus hater so let's get into the thing that really makes these knives unique and that's these handles this is titanium that's where the price goes up so we're going from you know g10 handles and you know my card and things like that we're stepping up and going to titanium this is some thick titanium too look at that Oof. some thick boys there and a titanium pocket clip as well giving you i mean if you want to kind of customize this side to match your resin by anodizing it i mean you can definitely do that at home if you want to including the pocket clip because like i said it's also titanium it is a frame lock um and it's i mean it's pretty smooth it's i mean it's not like drop shut by any means it's kind of hard to to do it on the camera here but it's pretty smooth um you know i'd say on smoothness it's like you know a seven out of ten um the resin is custom to each knife you will not see a knife that is exactly the same as this not with this exact wood resin combo It's very cool looking. It's very unique looking. Um, you can get custom resin knives, but they're not going to look near this good. Now, I don't know if it's a chip or what, but I did have a little spot that came with my knife. I don't know if you can see it right there on the end. Um, but it's no big deal. I, I don't mind that. The rest of the knife is very clean, very well done. It's, you know, very snappy, very grippy. Feels good in my hand. Now, I am I wear large size gloves and um I think if you wear XL or bigger this is gonna be an issue because as you can see it fits my hand like perfect <laughs> but I think if my hands were even just a little bit bigger you know the end here would kind of start to poke me I don't know if it would poke me that bad but it poked me a little bit um Would I recommend this knife? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I think you're getting this knife solely for its looks and not necessarily its function. But, of course, if you're getting a knife with a resin handle, you know, and a stainless Damascus blade with titanium, I mean, I always say that if you're getting a knife to use, I mean, in my personal opinion, unless you are really, really, really sketched out about your knife failing or something, which even expensive knives can fail. I mean, in certain ways, like, you know, blades can chip and you know, the locking mechanism can fail. That can happen on any knife. But if you're buying a knife as a user, I don't see why you really need to spend more than, say, 80 bucks. You know, for $80, you can get the Kershaw Blur. You can get, um, which is made in America, and is one of my favorite USA-made knives ever of all time. You know, you can get a, you can get two Gonzos for that price. You can get two Kubis. Um, you know, you can get a lot of CJRBs. You can get, you know, the cheaper end of Spyderco for that price. I don't understand why you need to spend more than 80 on a EDC user. Now, that being said, if you want to, you know, if you're just going to, like, cut tape with it or, you know, you want a flashier knife in your pocket or maybe you want a lighter weight knife or, you know, you want a knife with a little bit of class to it because this is definitely classy. Um, it looks classy. It feels classy. Though I will say 
the pocket clip. Whew. This boy is tight. Whew. It is a tight clip. That's one problem with titanium clips. Very hard to get them right. I'd say at least 70% of the time they are too tight. Now, the good news about that is it ain't going to come out of your pocket. The bad news is, you know, it could bring some pocket lint. Um, you know, it might not come out at all. You might have to struggle. You're definitely going to have to pull this baby out with your finger to put it in, which is not going to feel good. It doesn't feel the greatest. I mean, you can do it. It doesn't feel the greatest. Um, but if you like the look, you know, you like different color. They got like teal and gold and red and white and black. And, you know, they got a million different colors on there. And uh, they got some different patterns like hexagon with the wood and the resins between the wood, which looks pretty cool. I'll probably get another one in the future at some point. I'm hoping they come out with different models. I would like a different model. Um, I think they would get a lot of return buyers because the thing about knife collecting is... There's so many knives, and it's hard to get the exact same model again unless it is a fan favorite. Like, I'll probably build a few pair of threes or pair of twos over my lifetime. But outside of that, I probably won't get any repeat knives, you know. That's probably about it. Um, but anyways, hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, that is my review of the carved EDC folder. Um... If you wouldn't mind leaving a like, telling me what you think about it. Um, is this something you're going to be picking up? Uh, do you hate it? Do you think it's not worth its price? Uh, let me know and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.